Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a profitable crypto trading bot on the Crypto Hopper platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Crypto Hopper, it is an automated trading bot platform that allows you to configure your own crypto trading bot strategies and they offer you the ability to paper trade and back test your strategy before you actually deploy the bot to live fire. So if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free, but that won't actually get you a live trading bot. To get a live trading bot, you'll need a minimum of their Explorer package, and that is actually the package I will be deploying the bot on today. In reality, I have found over the last few years of using Crypto Hopper that the Explorer package actually satisfies the majority of my strategies on Crypto Hopper. And you can actually get a free trial of the Explorer package. I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use that link, you'll get a free trial of that Explorer package. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. So after you've joined Crypto Hopper and you log into your new account, the first thing you'll want to do is add a new bot. And you'll just come over here to new, click on new, and you will want to click on auto trading bot. And you'll end up over on a page where you can actually use their templates to configure your bot. But in this case, we are going to configure our own bot. So we click on configure yourself and that will bring you over to the configuration page. So the first tab is basic settings and it is very basic if they just want you to name your bot. In this case, I named it EMA shoot and loop. My strategy for this bot will be utilizing the EMA moving average indicator and the shoot and loop part is I'm going to be taking quick profits and also getting out quickly if the trade moves against me. And at this point, I'm not going to trigger the bot live. I don't want any misfires while I'm configuring. So I will get to this towards the end of the configuration. And at that point, I'll save it and it will be good to go. The next tab is the exchange tab. Now you can just choose paper trading and deploy the bot to paper trading. But today this bot will be deployed to live fire. So the exchange I am selecting is OKX and there is a wide variety of exchanges you can choose from. And after you select your exchange, you need to set up API keys in your exchange and copy and paste those over here. In this case, OKX also requires an API passphrase. And you set that all up on your exchange to basically read and trade. Do not select withdraw or transfer or any of those options. You just want to give Crypto Hopper permission to read and trade on your behalf through these API keys. The last option on the exchange settings is user ticker rate. And I go with highest bid, lowest ask. The next tab is notification and I generally just turn on a notification of when a trade is actually executed. I will receive an email letting me know that a buy or sell order had been executed. Now moving on to the buying section. The first tab is buying settings. For order type, I generally select market for most of my crypto hopper bots. Maximum open buy time, three minutes. In reality, the coins I choose have pretty good volume and OKX has a lot of volume on their exchange. So maximum buy time of three minutes is more than enough. Maximum open positions. This bot, I will have roughly about nine coins. I'll allow this bot to be trading and therefore I'd want a maximum open positions of nine positions. Maximum percentage open positions per coin. I prefer to only have one position open per coin and therefore I have that set as nine as well and that will give me a maximum open position per coin of one. Enable cooldown, I won't actually be utilizing, but you could utilize that if you want to avoid perhaps a falling market. This option would help you get out of the way perhaps of a falling knife. The next option is only one open buy order per coin. Again, I only want one order per coin. Therefore, I should be only opening one position per coin. Only buy when there are positive pairs. I'm trading with USDT as my quote currency, so not concerned about there being positive pairs. And then auto merge positions. Again, I'm only going to have one open position per coin, so there will be nothing to auto merge. Jumping over to coin and amounts. 
The first option is what they call base currency. That's incorrect terminology. It's actually your quote currency. And I really wish they would update this. But in this case, my quote currency or base currency is going to be USDT. I could obviously choose my quote currency as BTC, ETH. But the majority of my crypto hopper bots I deploy with USDT as the quote currency. Next, I need to select the coins I would allow the bot to trade, and I can basically select through the list of available coins on the actual exchange itself. And all I need to do is actually just click on the coin itself, and it will populate over into the selected coin section. Now, I've already selected my coins, but if I want to remove a coin from that selected section, again, I just click on it, and it will bump it back over to the available coins. Now, as far as the coins I selected for this bot, I have selected BTC, ETH, DOT, Polygon or Matic, 1inch, Cardano or ADA, Sol, Theta, and Uni. Those will be the nine coins I will be deploying this bot on. I have actually done back testing and I know they perform fairly well. And in a few moments, I will show you some of those back test results. So hang in there. Now I need to determine how much ammo I'm going to give the bot per trade and the percentage buy amount would be based off of the maximum USD amount allocated. In this case, I'm going to give the bot $1,000 total and then based on a percentage of 10%, each position would open with 100 USDT. Now I want the minimum USDT amount per order to be that 100 USDT and I have force minimum buy amount checked off. Moving on to the actual strategy settings. I have selected multiple TA factors for the strategy. I do not use signals. Number of targets to buy. I have selected nine as that is how many coins I actually have. If all nine coins trigger at the same time, it will actually buy nine targets. Now, if I selected something like three, then only three of those nine would actually get buy orders. Or in case you selected 18 coins, the max you can actually go with it would be 10 buy orders at the same time. Now for the actual settings themselves, we need to jump over to advanced multiple TA settings and my candle size will be one hour. And the indicator I'll be using for this strategy is the exponential moving average or the EMA indicator. And then I need to actually configure my EMA short period and I've selected that as nine and my EMA long period is 20. Now the way Crypto Hopper will actually utilize those settings for the EMA indicator is when the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average a buy signal will be generated. Now, what that would look like on an actual chart, in this case, we have Sol with USDT on the one hour Binance chart, and the purple line represents the nine EMA, and the blue line represents the slow or the 20 EMA. And so once the fast, the purple line, nine EMA crosses up, through the slow 20 EMA that would generate a buy so the buy would be on the close of this candle that is where we get the cross and generally that type of cross when the fast crosses above the slow is a bullish trend indicator and you can see the price moves up from there and then lastly I want to make sure that EMA necessary for a buy signal and click close the last option under buying is a trailing stop buy. I will not be enabling this feature. Now moving on to the selling section. The first tab is sell settings. And under sell settings, I have take profit at 1.96%. So once the price has moved up 1.96%, the bot will close my position and capture that profit. The order type, again, a market order. I want out fast. I don't want to mess around with a limit order. And maximum open time of, again, that three minutes. It should fill instantly on the coins and on the exchange I have selected. The next option is sell strategy. I will not be selling based on strategy. I will be selling based purely on profit or loss. And that brings us to our stop loss. And I have that enabled. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know my theory on stop losses. I use stop losses anytime I'm trading. And in the end, not using a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you will get killed. And so I have my stop loss percentage set at 0.49%. Again, this is shoot and loot. Fast profit 
and we get out quickly if we're wrong. The next option is trailing stop loss. I do not enable that on this particular shoot and loot strategy. Again, we're not looking to hang around. We're getting in and getting out quick. Auto close is the next option. Don't necessarily need to enable that feature. We're getting in and out pretty quickly as it is. Short settings don't apply to this strategy and dollar cost averaging does not apply to this type of strategy. And so that is all the settings. So we'll just come over here, click the save button and it wants to warn me that I have a stop loss. I would actually want it to warn me if I didn't have a stop loss. So yes, continue. All right, the configuration has been saved. So let's jump over and do a quick back test. So we just give back test a click. And the first currency we will back test will be one inch. And I need to click on load existing configuration. And that way we can actually test the configuration we just set up. And now I just hit start back test. And it's basically running the back test from February 12th to June 16th. And the maximum profit during that time frame would be 31.5%. The successful sales were 55 versus sales with losses of 7. And basically my win rate was almost 89%. So not too bad on the first currency. Let's give Ada a back test. Ada's results come in with a maximum profit of 34.5%, another win rate of 88, almost 89%. So again, we're winning the battle so far. The next coin we'll test will be Bitcoin or BTC. Click start back test. And max profit for BTC is just about 17% with a win rate of 91%. The next coin is DOT. And with DOT, we see a max profit of 26%. And I do want to take a moment to state it is important to understand backtest results do not guarantee future results. So you need to understand that just because the backtest results show these good profits does not mean going forward the market will behave the same way and you'll still hit these targets. But I do believe in backtesting your strategies. So next up will be ETH. And ETH has a max profit of 17% and a win rate of 84%. So far, all of our win rates are over 80%. And so we'll take a look at Matic or Polygon. Now, Matic only goes back to March. That's probably around when OKX added it to their exchange. And we get a max profit of almost 19% and a win rate of 74%. Let's give Sol a test. And so far, Seoul is the biggest winner with a max profit of almost 50% and a win rate of 85%. Next up will be Theta. And with Theta, the max profit is almost 39% and a win rate of 86%. So again, these coins are winning the battle so far. And the last coin will be Uni. And the max profit for uni is 23.5% with a win rate of 81%. Now I do want to note that this backtest time frame between February to the middle of June actually includes this big sell-off in Bitcoin. So these profits do include some bullish times in the market and some bearish times in the market. So this strategy appears to be working both in a bearish and a bullish market. So with that being said, we've got all of our back testing done. Our configurations are all set up. Now we just need to jump over here to the dashboard and get this bot deployed. So on the dashboard, you want to make sure everything's pretty much zeroed out and ready to go. And it is. We'll click on enable hopper and we'll click on enable buying. And we can see that selling is enabled. So that pretty much wraps it up. This bot is live and looking for targets. So. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you are interested in an update on how this bot is actually performing, I suggest you shoot that subscribe button as I do update videos every now and again on all the bots I have deployed and you don't want to miss those, so shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Crypto Hopper in the description down below and that will help you get that free trial of this Explorer package. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.